fun, fun, fun. This is all I have to pack. Well, what I do when I get ready to pack is I like to lay all of my outfits out, the purses and the shoes that I plan to wear with them. And then I just lay like my miscellaneous things on my dresser. And I do this like a few days before because if I pack and go somewhere and I forget something, I'll be mad at myself for forgetting. Um, I don't know, I'm just like a very organized person. So when I forget things, I get mad at myself. Like, how could you miss that? So, yeah. So what we're doing is we are, I like to roll, I like to roll everything up and put it in a suitcase. It saves me space. And that is something I'm going to need on this trip. I got in about 10.30 last night. Um, my cousin Ashley picked me up from the airport and we came back to her place. I took a shower and then we both were hungry. So we went out to Ralph's. It's like a giant, if you're from the Cleveland area, then it would be equivalent to our giant eagle. So yeah, I woke up. A little early because of the time difference and uh, I did a little bit of work went to get ready and then Ashley's gonna come home from work we're gonna go wrap food and then I'm going to head to the hotel and to the convention center
John Mosey said, what? Texture. Texture, Texture period. He's gonna love it. I told my clients my haircuts are designed to get them next week, baby. And I just say chill. So, Pete, you wanna come on up while I finish this out? Guys, I think you didn't introduce me, Robin. You just said my roommate. Oh, yeah. My bad. This is my, this is my monkey. Typically, when I do this point up, I use like a, a, a strip of white leather. I do my kit. I forgot to pack my leather. So we're going to improvise. This is what we're going to use. Electrical tape. Are you guys going to use electrical tape for projects?
online beauty supply store. I'm in school. But I want to apply it to the business side of things. So the classes that I've been signing up for are geared towards business. Um, and then also if I have to use my cosmetology degree um, to actually do hair, then my interest is cutting. So I, I also saw one other class about cutting. And so, yeah. Okay, so I am back at the room. Okay. Something else I wanted to talk to you guys about was safety when you're in an Uber or Lyft. I think it's becoming the norm that you also check the license plate when of cars because um, I know me personally, I will always just check the model and um, check to make sure the driver looks the same as the picture but I'm sure to check the license plates um, this happened to me when I was in Toronto now in LA or Long Beach and then my instructor said that it happened to her in Cleveland but actually this is also like those safety precautions also should take place when you're in a lift as well but um the these incidents have happened to me when i've ever been in a lift and uh, the driver will offer me free rides for the rest of my stay or like a free tour or something like that and um, first of all, I've seen, you can tell when someone's just genuinely doing a job. Like I've had people or one other person say that like they're doing Uber or Lyft so they can learn English. Like that seems like a genuine response and like a harmless response. Um, as, I never ask people why they're doing it, but like if someone's making conversation with me, um, I'll, you know, ask them about their experience with driving. Like, oh, how long have you been doing this? How do you enjoy it? And this one driver just threw out there that he's doing it simply to help himself, like, learn English. And uh, I mean, yeah. So... Um, people have been offering to give free rides or free tours and it's like some of the time when someone is doing like Uber or Lyft like they're always doing it to make money like no one's going I don't know if this will make sense but literally no one's going to do that job for free no one's going to allow strangers to get in their car and ride for free like what if I'm going across town what if I need you to take me on a 30 minute drive or 45 minutes like time is expensive and time is money I'm not about to give someone a, a ride a stranger a ride for free um, so just be mindful and just be cautious um, a lot of people are being kidnapped and taken so just be mindful um i don't know i don't know what more to say but just be mindful and just be careful share your location with people and yeah i'm not just having like no like pressure free yeah all right so I am back at the room. Um, I'm about to get ready. I'm just gonna like touch up my makeup and maybe put on eyeshadow. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still learning how to do eyeshadow. Tea yeah. concealer. So what do you want to know? Um, I'm just gonna put on some eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow. 
What do I want to know about Shanice? You said my name wrong. Shanice. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right. You're not actually such a little sass No, but the thing is... And I love it. No, but listen, I right? Like it. Yeah, hello. I it's don't think anyone understands how stressful it is for me when people say my name wrong. Really? It's Shonice. Shonice. I mean, I realize, I don't even know why I'm repeating after you. I literally know this. So, I had makeup on from earlier. Um, I'm not going to take it off um, because I don't have time to. So... I'm just like lightly putting on like a little bit more powder to like refresh it and then I'm going to and then I'm just going to go in with some eyeshadow and new lashes. I purposefully did not put on too much lash glue. See, no. None of my regular lashes came off because I knew that I'd want to change my lashes with the new style so that it looks like I just did my makeup all over again. Um, so I found a tutorial with my Jackie Ina palette, but I um, never posted it because I just really didn't like the look that I did. As I said before, I'm still learning how to do my eyeshadow, so hopefully tonight is a success. I think I'd mix ginger and credit to kind of get like a brown effect. I don't know, let me see what it looks like together. But to be open, like, I'm talking about in terms of if you want to get to know something, if I want to get to know something. So far, so good. <laughs>
you're afraid, doesn't matter if you're scared to death, just do it anyway. Okay? You screw up, you fail, whatever. Failure is critical. Critical to learning and growth. There you're going to have a lot of self doubt, a lot of confidence. You're going to commiserate. You guess what commiserate means? That break room issue. You know what I mean? I hate her, she's a bitch. Do you agree? <laughs> And then you're going to choose to go through the process of personal development. Now it gets interesting. You're going to start to become self-aware. That's the first step. And then you're going to start to self-regulate. You actually have to self-regulate. Then you're going to start to become self-disciplined. And then you're going to take accountability. I know that's hard for some. So I'm ending the vlog now and um, I'm sure by the dates that you guys can tell what happened on Sunday. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't vlog that day in general. First of all, like the first half of the day, I just, I don't know. I think I was just so tired from before that I just didn't really think to vlog. And uh, um, by the time I heard about Kobe, it was probably like afternoon. Actually, no, it was afternoon. And um, my friend Tierra texted me saying, oh, Kobe died. And I'm like, like, wait, who is Kobe? Like, do you mean Kobe Bryant? Or like, did you know someone named Kobe? And that's when she said it was Kobe Bryant. And so I just felt a little bit weird and uneasy. And it didn't feel natural to vlog the rest of the day. Um, I can say that my day was kind of like, not ruined, but it felt like a cloud, like a cloudy, like it just felt just like, I don't know. It didn't feel natural to just like be happy for the rest of the day. 
like I felt kind of sad not kind of I did feel sad and then it later came out that there were more people on um, on the helicopter and one of those people being his daughter I feel like um, it was sad but I felt a little bit more at ease knowing that they were together and that now they are together because um, I don't know when I think about the other side I just think about like who's there um, the people that you see after and there is some reassurance that they are together and that um, Gigi's not alone, um, Kobe's not alone. I think everyone's energy fed off of each other. And so the rest of the day I had classes that, the rest of the day I had classes that I had signed up for and that I had planned to go to. And I still went to the classes, but it was just hard to focus. And um, I was not a huge Kobe Bryant fan. Like I knew the impact he had on basketball and on a, on a lot of people. So therefore there was an automatic level of respect for him. And also um, I'm a not a huge LeBron fan, but I'm a LeBron fan. And once again, I do respect him and his impact on basketball and to know how much Kobe Bryant has impacted him just kind of like um, allowed me to resonate with like the people who were mourning well I mourned as well overall um, well first of all rest in peace to Kobe Bryant Gigi Bryant and everyone else that lost their life in the crash um, and finally I just want to say that and then finally, I just want to say, um, I'm very thankful for the trip. Um, I learned a lot. It's something that I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because I'm interested in like makeup and fashion and that whole thing. So I've gone to beauty con, but this was like a beauty con, but for hair. And if you haven't checked out my beauty con vlog, check it out below. But um, once I realized that like I won a chance to attend an award show that people pay tickets for and also like a convention where I attended like some of the classes that people pay money for and I got to go for free. That was just like, it was just like a wow moment and the things that I learned um, I am going to take with me. I feel like I have taken with me. And like one thing I wanted to work on this year was my time management. And one thing I realized like, especially at the end of last year is that time is very expensive and it's hard to make up for things. And one thing I got from the artists and the people leading the classes was that they didn't waste their time. Um, and that's one thing I don't plan to do. Um, that's actually one of my pet peeves, is like wasting my time or realizing that I could have done something differently or like I could have done something else that was more productive or I don't know. I'm sure you guys get the gist. But it's like, I don't have time to play around. And it's like, I'm gonna take every opportunity at school because of this one opportunity like we start school off and they tell us to say yes to everything but literally say yes to everything and every opportunity in life just take just say yes to everything and take opportunities opportunities and chances because this is my future so um but also like how this is like gonna help my future in terms of like just like everything that I learned um it's just also like motivation I am a huge fan of Patricia Bright um because she fuses um 
beauty and business together, which is something I want to do. And, um, which, and I could just, I could just talk about Patricia Bright all day. Like I love her. Um, but she has another YouTube channel that talks about, um, business that I am subscribed to. And she had the owner of Nailed It, um, on her channel. She has nail salons in like LA, London, and I think Dubai this year. And so she was just talking about how she got started and like investing and stuff like that. And she was saying how she used um, her own money because when you use your own money instead of like borrowing money, you uh, you have more determ de uh, determination. Like, yes, you're going to have to pay that loan back, but it's different when you're giving it in like a lump sum um, versus like working and like paying for things on your own like you, the payoff will be greater and that's like that's exactly how i feel like having my own business some days i do want to just like throw it all away but then i think about like all of the time and money and commitment i've put into it and not only that but like people that have invested in me as well um emotionally and uh, financially um and one person in particular is like my mom and it's like I refuse to go to school and be mediocre there's nothing wrong with being mediocre not even like I don't know because when I say mediocre I just mean the people that just like cruise and just get by like that's not what I want to do I don't want to just cruise and get by I want people to feel passionate when I talk about what I want to do um I want to be successful financially and so um it's just like I think about my mom and like how much she still helps me to this day like I'm 24 years old and like I'm not I'm not afraid to say that I'm not completely independent. And uh, I took a step away from teaching and she has supported me along the way, like 150%. So, sorry, my lips are dry. So just to like see it, being in school also just gives me like a whole new perspective in terms of like, what it means to be a parent because some of the women here are parents and what it means to have a mom that's supportive because not everyone has a mom that's supportive. So it just gave me like a new perspective in terms of like the sacrifices that my mom makes and also just being thankful for what she does for me. And so I refuse to allow myself to be mediocre knowing that my mom has put a lot into what I want to do and like also myself like I've put a lot into what I want to do um financially as well like I'm in school full-time I can't work as much as I want to work so I'm in a sense I'm losing out on money that I would have made if I didn't go to school so it's just like I refuse to let myself down and I refuse to let my mom down. So, and also everyone else that have invested in me financially and emotionally as well. So, and when I say emotionally, but just like maybe friendships and like, you know, things like that. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching once again. I don't know why I almost said it like that. You know, like when you just like talk too fast or just say too much. But um, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.